the Zionist occupation forces arrested two more Palestinians north of Jericho after it detained seven others from different areas of the occupied West Bank. The occupying forces set up military barriers on the entrances to northern Hebron. Similarly, the occupation army closed all entries to the city of Jericho. As settlers who are under their protection carry on their attacks on the city for the second day in a row. Palestinian reports said the settlers committed shootings, arson attacks and beat Palestinians with metal rods and rocks. These violent acts extended to health workers and sick children as well. According to local media, reports Zionist settlers attacked a Palestinian ambulance on Monday night while transporting a sick child from Jenin to an intensive care unit in Ramallah and said that the child arrived at the clinic three hours late. Following an attack by settlers, a Palestinian woman was wounded at dawn on Tuesday, targeting an ambulance at Jenin State Hospital while passing from Zatra where he was transporting a 12-year-old sick child. The child's mother was also injured by settlers breaking the glass of the ambulance, which managed to reach Ramallah. Thousands of Palestinians protested and condemned the massacre committed by the Zionist settlers and soldiers against the Palestinian civilian population in the West Bank, particularly in the town of Hawara and its neighboring villages. We will not leave our heroic people prey to the occupation and its criminal settlers. We are facing a difficult test in which we have to show loyalty to our roots. Our sons and Palestinian people are ready to confront the injustice, arson, murder, and defiling the holy places. The demonstration is only one step among others that it will take in solidarity with and support of the Palestinian people in the West Bank, especially in the town of Huara and neighboring villages. On Sunday night, settlers carried out about 300 attacks in the towns of Huara, which resulted in the death of a Palestinian and injured nearly 390 others, in addition to the burning and destruction of dozens of homes and cars. The occupation army was aware of the intention of the settlers but did nothing to prevent them.